Talofa. My name is Jaya Sandua, recognized by FIFA as the first out transgender to play in a FIFA sanctioned tournament. My life is a testament of how far a trans person can go when a society recognizes their existence, celebrates their talents, and realizes their capacity to be an asset to their community. This Transgender Day of Remembrance, we celebrate the lives of the more than 30 trans people who have been killed in the United States, the more than 350 known murders across the world, and our friends and family members we've lost to suicide, old age, and illnesses. We remember their existence, their visibility, their hard work, and their bravery to be proud and unapologetic about their identities. The world we live in nurtures a social environment that so viciously tries to exclude us. But our presence and willingness to not accept that norm undermines any efforts to erase us. Not all of us are fighters. Not all of us feel we have a voice. Not all of us are brave. Not all of us are a Janet Mock or a Jazz Jennings or a Sarah McBride or even a Taffy Maemi but we all have the right to live and exist in our respective communities. We are humans. The emboldenment of hatred towards our trans community through the mere words of our political and religious leaders has essentially contributed to the rise of murders of trans people this year. This is not the direction we should be heading towards as a country, let alone as a world. Now more than ever, we must do our very best to squash any efforts that keep us from progression. If not for ourselves, then for those who have fought for us in the past, but most especially for the trans youth who are our future. Think about Monica Roberts. Think about Julie Berman. Think about Sangeeta. Think about their lives and how hard they fought to not only exist in their respective countries, but to make sure all of us can exist. Then think about the trans youth. Think about how they will someday need to fight for their own existence. How will we, as living transgender people, help make their fight easier than ours? The answer to that is how we keep moving forward. And in doing so, we not only continue the pavement for the next generation, but we also honor past generations who have paved the way for us. I leave you tonight with a famous Samoan proverb, Alongotai Ualongouta. When it is felt towards the sea, it is felt toward the land. When one trans person dies, we all feel the pain of that loss because we are all connected. They are us. This TDOR, we honor those who have passed by keeping the fight going. With all my love, thank you.